Welcome to California in Focus. I'm David Mastio, and today we're talking about marijuana cafes. Joining me today is the Center Square's Kenneth Shrupp, our California reporter. Kenneth, I want to go to a marijuana cafe. Tell me about it. Well, California could soon have some cafes modeled on those found in the Netherlands. Uh, in the Netherlands, they have these places called coffee shops, which usually serve coffee, but also marijuana. And that marijuana is usually combined with tobacco, which means that these coffee shops, even though smoking tobacco indoors is normally not allowed, it's a roundabout way of bringing tobacco smoking back indoors after years of bans. These cafes in California would also be able to have events. You could have cannabis cafe concerts uh, and food. So you could sit down with a meal without cannabis in it while smoking your cannabis and potentially tobacco. There are rules against smoking tobacco indoors, but it's not really clear if they're going to enforce that against places that are marijuana lounges, um, given that smoking lounges that are grandfathered in from California's anti-smoking laws can still allow indoor tobacco smoking. But that's another issue entirely. You'll be able to smoke your spliff and eat a meal as someone plays Wonderwall. Did Governor Newsom veto this previously? Yeah, there was a veto last year over concerns that would undermine the state's longstanding smoke-free workplace protections. California is one of the most aggressive states in the country when it comes to trying to limit secondhand smoke. There was a city in SoCal that even banned smoking in your apartment. There are a lot of actions being taken to limit smoking at a state level, but the American Cancer Society has strongly condemned this bill in the version last year, using its data saying that the carcinogenic and toxic effects of marijuana smoke meet or often exceed those of cigarette smoke because of the very high tar content in marijuana and the fact that there's no filter like with the cigarette. I think the question that all of our uh, listeners are asking is, can you drink alcohol in a place that sells marijuana? So you're not allowed to drink alcohol in the place that sells marijuana. The place that sells marijuana is nominally not supposed to sell you alcohol or tobacco. Is that going to be enforced? I don't know. California legalized recreational marijuana, which you know only really works is if you also crack down on the black market. What we've seen is the legal market has struggled because of the extremely high excise tax, while the black market has grown because there is no prosecution of black market activity because the prosecution offices don't want to prosecute it anymore. Maybe you didn't go into this in your reporting, but who's going to enforce these laws? Is this going to be like locally regulated? It is all just local health inspector stuff. And yeah, people are going to be allowed to wear N95 masks while they're working that the employers will have to pay for. N95 masks are effective enough to block tobacco smoke because those are very large particles. Is that in the law? That is in the law, yes. It is one thing I did not mention in my reporting. Is this seen as a way to prop up the legal cannabis market in California as a as a way to battle what you were talking about with the black market growing? Yes, the legal market has been struggling significantly. And this is a way to bring people back into legal smoking. Um, there's also you know, the potential that this law could be used to crack down on a lot of the public smoking. If you're anywhere outside in California, it just smells like pot everywhere. And uh, many people find that unpleasant. So by bringing this back indoors, legalizing certain private places where you can smoke, it's also worth noting that California did pass entertainment zones, that uh, a pilot program for this in San Francisco would allow for the creation of places like in New Orleans where you can walk around with an open container of alcohol. Given that a lot of counties in California have do not prosecute moratoriums for drinking out in public, most of the state already is an entertainment zone, but this is this is an interesting liberalization of uh, being able to drink or maybe even smoke publicly, legally. Are there going to be rules on minors in marijuana cafes? You already have to be 
over 21 to enter a recreational marijuana store. Uh, I believe you still, you can, if you're 18, if you have a medical card, I'm not sure if they still have that program going. Right. But if it's a cafe and you can have food, you can't take your kids for dinner and, and smoke a joint. Well, you can't take your kids into most bars. Many bars just don't allow children. And I, I don't think that this would be much different from that. Kenneth, thanks for joining us today. Listeners can keep up with this story and more at thecentersquare.com. 